Lesson 2-3, Circle Graphs. We use circle graphs when comparing parts to a whole. Recommendations are you shouldn't go really past five or six groups of a graph when making one. Now, I would recommend using a program like Microsoft Excel or Google Docs to help you create a circle graph. Uh, there's some real nice technologies out there. I used one to create this graph over here, which was method of transportation used by students to get to school. Now, real quick, your eyes should be able to identify the biggest piece. You can label it just in case, but the main key for a circle graph is helping those visual learners see which groups are the biggest. And this is a very quick, easy way to get people to see those responses. As much as I'd love to ramble on and on and on, that's really all there is to circle graphs. But if you'd like to talk about it more, please contact me using my email or through my website. Thanks a lot and have a great day.